All right, we still don't have access to OpenAI's Sora, but we may have access now to the next best thing. Kling AI has just been released to people from all countries. So this AI text to video, photo to video program has been available to users in China now for uh, more than a month, but they just minutes ago released it to the rest of the world. So we're going to do a very quick hands-on demo. We're going to compare it to what is probably the best, uh, kind of AI video platform available to everyone right now, which is Runway Gen 3. So we're going to go over kind of the pros and the cons and look at the results head to head. All right, so let's jump in and do this. If you're new here, what's going on? My name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So we do like little AI and fives every day. Uh, that's what this is. Uh, this one might be longer than five minutes, but let's see. So uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. So let's talk about Kling AI. So uh, you can just go to klingai.com and sign in for a, sign up for a free account. Um, like I said, this up until a couple of minutes ago, this was only available to people in um, you know China or with a Chinese phone number that could confirm that. So uh, a lot of these AI videos, this this space has been blowing up. So we've only. Uh, I kind of put them in tiers, right? So uh, very few people in the world have access to OpenAI's Sora right now. I don't think they're going to release it before the US election. Uh, so up until today, probably the best uh, kind of AI video that we had was Runways Gen 3, which they just released a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to go through, we're going to look at the Kling AI interface, look at a little bit how it works, very quick overview, and uh, compare at least a text to video um, on Runway versus Kling. All right, so let's jump in and take a look around. So I the sign up process, super easy. Sign up with my email. It looks like you get 66 credits every 24 hours. So uh, I haven't used this yet. This is all live, unedited, unscripted. So we'll actually see what that means and how much this actually consumes. Uh, so it looks like, um, I guess once we run a, um, uh, a generation here, we'll see how many credits it costs. That would be great if we knew ahead of time, but we don't. Also, you should know the first time I went to the site, uh, I did just now translate everything uh, from, I believe it was Mandarin to English. So uh, hopefully it, it should be easy enough to uh, go through. So one thing I like in most uh, you know, AI image uh, softwares or AI video softwares have this for inspiration. So you can look at something that uh, the programmed uh, use, but I like here, they just say have clone and try. So I can click on this and actually see the prompt, super simple prompt. So I'm going to see how this handles a little bit of a more difficult prompt. So let's go ahead. I'm not even sure where to start, but I'm guessing we're just going to go AI videos powered by Kling. All right. So it looks like we can do text to video, image to video. I'll probably do image to video later, but for this video, we're just going to try uh, text to video and do the same thing in um, runway and compare them side by side. All right. So for the first one, I'm going to put this in. I'm saying first person point of view, launching off from the top of a Chicago skyscraper on a high speed roller coaster. The ride rockets through clear tunnels, uh, revealing stunning photorealistic, photorealistic views of the Chicago skyline and the shimmering waters of Lake Michigan. The coaster dives sharply into Millennium Park, seamlessly transitioning into a cinematic whirlwind journey that races through the park's lush greenery and waves around its iconic sculptures and art installations. All right. So what I'm going to do also, because I may have to pause this, uh, uh, as soon as I hit generate, I'm going to click, um, the stopwatch so we can see how much. Okay. So here we go. Uh, we get 10 credits, not bad. So we should at least for free today, be able to run six different generations as long as nothing goes wrong. Uh, so here we have actually, let's go ahead and generate this. And we're going to jump into another one and look at all these features. So I'm going to click generate. I'm going to go ahead, click this stopwatch. And we'll keep an eye on this. All right. So we'll see right here, uh, it's at 6%. So I'm going to go in and we're going to look at, we're going to run another one. We're not going to run them simultaneously because I don't want it to slow down. Uh, but here's our other prompt that we're going to be running. 
Uh, a mid thirties man walks through downtown Chicago on a sunny summer day dressed in casual attire, including a t-shirt and jeans. The scene is highly realistic and cinematic capturing the bustling energy of the city with its towering skyscrapers, busy streets and vibrant urban life. Sunlight casts a warm glow, highlighting the details of the man's relaxed demeanor as he navigates through the lively crowd and iconic architecture. So these should both be fairly difficult. I think also we have no clue how cling handles prompt handling. I haven't seen a lot of demos on this. So we're finding this out. Uh, the examples that they gave on their homepage were very simple, you know, like eight word prompts. This is much uh, harder. One of the reasons I'm doing this is I want to test the prompt handling. If we give it a lot of different details, is it going to be able to capture these? Also, we don't know how long these videos are. So let's uh, take a look on our first one. Uh, it's at 33%. And then let's look at some of the options here. Uh, so it looks like you can kind of uh, do some refresh. You can, they have some prompt kind of helpers here. Uh, we can go for creativity or relevance. This looks very similar to temperature. If you were, you know, as an example in the platform for OpenAI, uh, I'm going to keep it in the middle for now. Uh, we have high performance versus high quality. It looks like high quality feature has not launched. Uh, length, uh, five seconds, 10 seconds. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, I should have done this for the first one. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 seconds. Let's see if we even can. Okay, so it says high performance mode currently does not support 10 second videos, but I can't slick switch to high quality mode. So at least, at least it looks like right now we only have five seconds. Uh, and then we do have some uh, camera movement, or let's see if we actually do uh, have some camera movement options. Uh, so let's see, horizontal. Okay, so good. This is uh, very similar to Runway. I'm not going to do any of that for now. Okay, good. It also has a negative prompt, which is good. So a lot of times to get something usable, you might have to regenerate this, I don't know, two, three, 50 times. Uh, and if you keep getting a weird artifact, uh, you can use this negative prompt. So let's say in this one where we're talking about, you know, a man walking down the street, there's a random animal in there. So you can go and put that, you know, a dog. If it keeps putting up a dog with six legs, you can put that in there. Uh, so let's Let's go ahead and check on our first one. It's at 60%. So uh, again, I'm guessing this is getting hit with like worldwide traffic. Uh, at least AI geeks like myself have been waiting for Kling AI to kind of come to the scene because uh, y'all like AI video. I said this, I did a full episode on like 2024 predictions back in December. And I said, AI video is going to be, be nutty. It's going to take over. And I don't think a lot of people were paying much attention. And they said, no, it's not. And AI video is really, really good. Uh, just FYI. All right, let's uh, zoom back in and let's just go ahead. Uh, I'll show you what I did here in runway. So we're not going to play this yet, but here we have our one. I haven't even looked at this one. This is our mid thirties man, the one, the second one. And then we have the first one here, um, the roller coaster in uh, Chicago. So I do believe both of these are 10 seconds. Uh, that was the max it's available now. Uh, there's so many other features in runway that are amazing. I'm not going to get into this. We wanted to do an out of the box, same prompt, simple, right? Uh, comparison. So we can see is Kling AI any good? Uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't know the, um, the generation limit. So we are going to be comparing five seconds versus 10 seconds. Uh, not a big deal. All right. So let's check and see how we're doing here. Uh, I wanted to see if we could go the full, uh, length without having to refresh. So let's actually do this. Let's just look at, uh, the pricing plans here, uh, while we wait. Okay. So we'll go into, let's see here. Pricing's not there. Interesting. So I guess I just have to click my credits. Um, I know I just saw billing somewhere. I don't even know where it is. So I can look at the plans. Uh, so the interface, not the best, a little confusing. I mean, it's very, it's very simple, uh, but I'm even trying to see, I swear I saw it on my screen. I'm trying to see where the, uh, where the upgrade option is. Uh, so getting ready for our subscription programs. I don't know if it doesn't exist yet. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, so it just says, okay. So I'm not even sure. So they're maybe not even, um, maybe they don't even have paid plans yet. Uh, doesn't look like it at least. So uh, we'll see. All right, let's check on our first video. We're at 82%. 
Uh, I wanted to be able to show something else while we waited. So uh, I'm unfortunately, I'm going to hit pause on this and then we're going to finish the other generations as well. And then once I come back, I'm going to let you know exactly how long they took and we're going to look at the two head to head. All right, we're back. Kling finished uh, the two generations. The first one on screen here, the roller coaster one, took about six minutes and 40 seconds. The second one, the person, uh, the one walking downtown, uh, took a, let's see here, seven minutes and 50 seconds. So uh, I'm going to put these full screen here so we can quickly take a look. So here is Kling's first. Let me make sure uh, this is working. All right. So here is Kling's first, the roller coaster. So five seconds. Does it handle the prompts well? Ah, no, uh, not really. I don't know what this bridge is over here. This looks like a generic skyline. Uh, this does look like certain park areas downtown, but does it, does it actually look like Chicago? No. Is the quality that great? No. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not super impressed. There's been a lot of hype around, uh, around cling first, first generation, not super impressed. Again, I think if I started with a photo, much better results, you might have to regenerate five, six, seven times out of the box. Not that great. Uh, let's look at runway. So here is the runway example, the same one. Let's take a look. The runway ones took, uh, about a minute and a half, two and a half minutes. All right. So. Although we didn't get to a lot of what we put in that very complex prompt, uh, the quality is much better. It's much better in Runway Gen 3. Again, this is not scientific comparisons, just a somewhat complex prompt. Uh, one take, we're not regenerating, tweaking, adding camera movements, negative prompts. Uh, the Runway 1 looks pretty good, right? So same thing. Is this definitively Chicago? Not necessarily, but I can tell you this. Eh, if you didn't know any better, you might think it. The other one, there was, uh, you know, some very distinct looking artifacts. Um, I'm also looking at the motion on the runway one. Looks much smoother. Looks higher quality. Or the cling one. I mean, the cling one looks very, very cartoonish, right? Uh, it looks like low quality. Um, a lot of artifacts, not in a good way, not like Claude artifacts, uh, right? Uh, but here, when we look at the runway one, much better, right? If someone used this in a in a sequence, um, even on a big screen, you know, you might not be able to recognize that it's AI generated, right? Uh, there's programs you can take this into, do better upscaling, color correction, etc. But it's a pretty good shot of something that you couldn't, in theory, make a roller coaster walking downtown Chicago. Not that good. All right. So let's see how it handles people. So Kling, here is the, uh, again, we only have five seconds on Kling where we have 10 seconds on runway. Otherwise, same exact prompt, default, out of the box, single generation. Let's take a look at Kling, a man in his 30s walking down Chicago. Can already tell, doesn't look that great. Okay, so again, super low quality. I don't know if the quality settings are uh, available to others. Um, you know, the I guess the audience from China that has had access to this for a while, maybe they have uh, this high quality feature that it looks like gives you some other controls as well. Uh, I don't know, out of the box, maybe this is the dummy down version that we're seeing because Kling knew that there would be a lot of demand. Doesn't look that good, if I'm being honest. Uh, this looks like, this one right here looks like runway gen two, uh, quality or lower. Not that good. Doesn't none of it looks real, right? Uh, looks very AI generated, no faces, blocky movement, uh, you, you know, seeing weird artifacts, uh, physics are off. It doesn't look like Chicago. So not, not very good there. All right. Let's take a look at runway. This is a difficult prompt, right? Cause in theory you got to get people's faces. It's a city. Uh, so let's take a look at, uh, runway right now. All right. Here is runways.
<laughs> All right. So runways isn't that great, but it looks better. It looks better. Quality looks, uh, quality looks better. Uh, physics looks slightly better. I'm even looking at all these other people moving in the background. They look a little bit better. Our main subject here, uh, some, some weird movements, not terrible. Um, but again, this is not going to pass. Uh, also, why is there a car driving in the middle of this pedestrian walkway? Doesn't look like Chicago, but overall, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not writing cling off, right? Because uh, a lot of the generations that people have been sharing online have been really, really good. So uh, maybe we just don't have full access. Maybe it just takes way more generations. Maybe we should be always starting uh, with a photo versus a text. So let me know if you're still watching, still listening. Should we do more tests? Uh, with cling, should we do start with a photo? Should we work on details of face and you know eating food? I think that's one of those things where you know if you really want to push it to its limits. So uh, first impressions, cling's here. Try it out for yourself. Let me know if you get better generations. Uh, at least that what we have access to right now. Not super impressed. Out of the box text to video runway Gen three looks better. And it's not close. So we'll see. Uh, all right. If this was helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Also, I should I should go ahead and announce, uh, not, not that page. That's the wrong page. Uh, we did just launch a giveaway called Thanks a Million. So I'll leave the... Uh, the link here in this video. So we're going to be giving away a year of chat GPT or whatever your favorite generative AI subscription is, as well as a ton of other uh, giveaways, uh, surprises. We're going to be dropping them in to uh, celebrate our 1 million downloads for the Everyday AI podcast. So uh, make sure to go check that out and come back for another AI in five or AI in 16. Thanks y'all.